Do it again, Jerome. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Set. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Instigator. <laughs> troublemaker. It's morning time in Los Angeles. This is what we're working with out here. Kind of a gloomy situation. Dense fog, low visibility, swimming pool. I'm here in LA for work. I'm supposed to be here for two days. That could get extended, but for now, I'm supposed to be on a plane out tomorrow. This is the problem with traveling with Jerome Jar. No matter where he goes, he's hounded by teenage girls. Everybody knows that coffee is bad for your teeth. I've in my life never seen someone Put drink. Put the straw in the back of the teeth so the coffee doesn't touch your teeth. Yes. This is how you drink coffee and keep white teeth. Okay, Jerome and I have a meeting in 46 minutes, so I'm gonna use this next 46 minutes for a special Los Angeles edition of Q&A. Hey, 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 okay, Q&A time, special Los Angeles edition. I'm sitting somewhere at some restaurant where we bought food just so I could sit here and record a Q&A. Uh, let's get started. Mr. Nick Brock, you ask, when are you going to reveal the new company? How about right now? Okay, very happy to announce. The name of the new company is Beam. Henceforth, I will no longer refer to the new company as the new company. I'll only refer to it as Beam. Okay, a little explanation. The reason why I haven't been able to tell you the name of the company is because we've been like fighting and fighting to get the URL, the web address, beam.com which we got, but I couldn't say the name of the company until we had it because there's a lot of jerks out there that might try to buy the URL out from under us and like, and that would cause a whole bunch of headaches for us. So thank you for your patience. I apologize for taking so long. I hope it makes sense that I had to get the web address before I could say the name, Beam. Beam's the name of the company. I'm gonna say Beam as much as humanly possible so Beam sticks because new company really stuck and I have to change that habit. Also, we were trying to get the Twitter handle Beam app, which we got. So now we have beam.com, we have Beam app on Twitter. We're good. More very, very soon about Beam. Beam. Okay, next question. How do you start to be a filmmaker? You just start. There's no process, you just start and it takes a long time to learn, but really the only way to get there is just start. It's like anything else. You wanna learn how to play basketball, you pick up the ball. You wanna be a filmmaker, you just pick up whatever camera you have, probably your phone, and just start. Overthinking the process will kill any career in the creative space. You just have to do, not think. Do you budget your money? Elena, I'm really embarrassed to say that I'm terrible, absolutely terrible with money. I'm not proud of that, and I'm working hard to get more responsible, especially with like Owen going to college next year. I've been saving for a decade for his college fund and it's still not gonna be anywhere near enough. I wanna be better with money. Ooh, coconuts, yeah. I'll take one of those coconuts. Tia asks, how did you become so handy? Uh, Tia, I grew up in a house with four kids, two parents, everything was always broken. So if you wanted anything to work, you first had to fix it. And growing up in an environment like that, you're forced to be handy. I love hanging on to the craft of making things. Kyle asks, what are your motivations to get up in the morning? I don't know, I'm, I'm always in a crazy rush to get my day started. Laying in bed is stagnation. It's like, I'm not, a, I'm not doing anything. So there's always a real urgency for me to get up, get out, and start the day. Uh, what's your best advice for young relationships? Uh, 
Chad asks, when the app is launched, what comes next? Well, I mean, what comes next is actually building out the company. Launching the app, launching Beam, is just crossing the starting line, not the finish line. It's like, if I can equate it to running, because I'm a big runner, a big marathoner, it's like building this thing has been training for the marathon. And when we launch, it's when the starter pistol goes off and you start. But that still means you have the longest, hardest, most challenging run ahead of you that could last who knows how long. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there because Jerome is back. Thank you as always for your questions. More Q&A next week. Just finishing up another overpriced, super healthy meal that looked like this. How's lunch, Jerome? Delicious and healthy. How's lunch, Rudy? Can't complain, I had three drinks. One, two, three. Thank you, sir. I don't know how I can screw up my vlog two days in a row, but I screwed up my vlog two days in a row. So all of the rest of the footage for today's vlog, so all of this, the microphone was off for. So see all these bumpy lines here? That's audio. Then there's no audio, none, which really sucks. So here, let me just show you what happened. Jerome and I got lost in an apartment building, which was a little bit stressful. Then we got trapped in an elevator. Then we got trapped in another elevator. Then we called for help, which didn't really work out. And then we went to a friend's house and then we went for dinner and Marcus took us to go get like salads or something, but they took forever to cook. Although I didn't think you had to cook salads. And then we crossed the street. Here, I'll put music to this. And then we said goodbye. I probably said like, I'll see you later. And then that was kind of it. So I was explaining to Jerome earlier today how yesterday I accidentally deleted all my footage. And normally that would have been like the death sentence for a movie. But because I've obliged myself to posting every day, I forced myself to finish that video by using like titles and whatever I had to do to get through it. And this is like another example. Like it's 5.15 in the AM and all I want to do is like, go to bed right now, but I'm committed to posting every day. Therefore, I have to figure out some way to salvage this vlog and post it. I have to finish what I've started. So now this vlog is like about like determination and commitment. I will finish this vlog. It just probably won't be very good. And for that, I apologize. Mm -hmm.